Hi guys, I am so glad that you have reached this far to watch this video. This shows that you are either very keen to learn data science skills or just curious to know about machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep learning and data science. At SMAX, we are introducing data science program covering machine learning. I am the instructor for this course and I am super excited to teach data science with Python and R. I have almost two decades of experience in analytics consulting and delivered various analytics projects with top clients all over the world. I am also certified enterprise architect and certified analytics professionals. I am currently heading an artificial intelligence consulting company in Singapore. Before we look into the course, let's look at the latest reports in the job market. Glassdoor rates data science as a top job. There are more than four data science related jobs among top 20 jobs in LinkedIn report. McKinsey estimated that in 2018, there is a requirement for 60% more people than projected supply in US. What about the rest of the world? Just do a simple search for data science on the job portals. You will be surprised with the number of current positions. But why now? Why everyone looking for data science professionals? To know this, you need to understand the potential of the data science. Have you heard about AlphaGo? Google's deep learning algorithm which is trying to play a game of Go. In 2016, AlphaGo has won against the 18 times world champion, losing only one game out of five. AlphaGo has lost the fourth game when Lee Seidol, the champion, has played an unexpected move as his 78th move. It was not a move that AlphaGo was expected from any human to make. AlphaGo was not trained for this kind of moves, so eventually it designed the game. More than 100 data scientists were involved to build and support AlphaGo. And another success story from Google. Google's deep learning AI able to achieve 40% reduction in the amount of energy used for cooling in live data center. This chart is for one days of utilization. You can see the difference in utilization in the chart. Once the machine learning control is turned on, utilization has dropped. And when the machine learning control is turned off, utilization is back to high. This is huge. When you go to a clinic or a hospital, if the doctor refers you for any test, you need to go for a test and collect the report then submit the report to the doctor and doctor has to review the report and ask you more questions about some history or he may need to cross check with the other data. This task takes a lot of time. NHS UK is working with Google on a project called DeepMind Health. This project is aimed to help clinics get patients from test to treatment faster. Once the test is done, machine learning is used to extract the data from various systems and analyze analyze it instantly based on the current data and alert the clinic or doctor immediately. This saves lot of time and also patients who require immediate attention are referred to the right specialties instantly. Apps like Streams currently in use at NHS is already having positive effects. Nurses have said that it is saving them over 2 hours each day, meaning they can spend more time with those in need. Imagine if every nurse saves 2 hours in daily job, how many more patients they can attend to. Healthcare is one of the industry where there is a tremendous growth for data science. Have you used Netflix? How do you decide which movie to watch when you open the app? Do you search for the movie by artist or by name or just browse through the recommendations on your home screen? Netflix machine learning platform is intelligent to know your favorite artist and the type of movies you like. 80% of Netflix users selects movies based on the recommendations. Netflix ranks movies based on the statistics collected from millions of users using machine learning into rows and columns, where rows is defined as a category. One row will contain similar movies and columns decide the ranking of the movie within the category. And how about Amazon? 35% of Amazon revenue is generated by its recommendation engine based on the machine learning. Machine learning is everywhere now. Every company trying to use machine learning to analyze their data and find some insights that helps to grow the business. And there are so many success stories. But wait, is the data science only for big companies? We are only talking about big companies so far. No, but these companies has huge data volume and shown to the world what they can do with the data. So any company can take advantage of machine learning and artificial intelligence to gain the insights from the data. 
based on the statistics data is growing exponentially data is not just captured by computers it is captured by mobiles a lot of iot devices like sensors and even washing machines air cons and cars until 2005 total data captured was only 130 exabytes in 2010 it was 1200 exabytes by 2020 it is expected to grow to 40900 exabytes do you know at the moment only 1 to 2 percent of data was analyzed most of the captured data is not tagged to analyze in simple terms it is not clean it requires lots of crunching and wrangling before you see any insights so there is a huge potential here using big data technologies more and more companies are able to analyze more data than before analysts are expecting more data to be analyzed by 2020 according to the moore's law processing power of the hardware is doubled every two years do you know the computing power of any mobile phone in the market far exceeds the combined computing power of the two spacecrafts that got humans onto the moon and back to home safely controllers used for this lunar mission was only has 64 kb of memory and operated at 0.043 megahertz having said that data is growing exponentially and computing power is growing linearly what else is missing to analyze the huge data? We need data scientists with machine learning and artificial intelligence skills to analyze the huge amounts of data and provide the insights that many did not see before. There are bigger challenges companies are facing now. All these challenges are big opportunities for data science. The revolution isn't coming, it's already underway. So here we are introducing data science program covering machine learning. We call this as a program instead of a course because this program will train you from the basics and equip you with all the academic and technical skills that are required for a data scientist. We have designed a bespoke program to learn machine learning from very basics with tons of course material and real world examples. This course is really comprehensive. By the end of the course, you will be ready to establish yourself in this data universe as a data scientist. This course covers more than 50 hours of instructor-led online training, covers all the basics academical and technical and in-depth coverage of each algorithm we cover the theory of the algorithm python and r implementation of the algorithm and a real world challenge for every algorithm we will take a real world data set and explore the data set to learn and solve it together we walk through the exercises on each topics in the class and you will also get additional exercises with solutions for you to explore we also provide detailed notes for each topic so you don't have to spend time researching and googling for any information related to this course and we will end the course with two capstone projects to showcase your learned skills in this course this course is divided into six units unit one covers basic python you will learn basic programming skills with real world examples unit two covers essential mathematics that is required for machine learning and artificial intelligence we will cover statistics probability linear algebra and calculus Remember, we are not mathematicians and we don't want you to be mathematicians. So we learn only what is required. Unit 3, you will learn how to crunch and analyze data and present data visually using Python. Unit 4 covers all the machine learning algorithms for supervised and unsupervised learning. And Unit 5 covers R. So in Unit 1, Unit 3, Unit 4, we have covered machine learning with Python. So in Unit 5, we cover everything with R. So you will revisit all the algorithms using R. Unit 6 is to scale our learning to the big data. So we explore big data and Spark with Python. As part of this course, we will build few real-world applications such as spam classifier for emails to classify if the email is spam or not and a recommendation system for movies and books and various predictive models to predict the price, customer behavior and identify profitable channels for an organization. So are you ready for the course? At the beginning, data science looks like a jargon with lot of new terminology don't worry we will take step by step approach to learn and master all these terms if you would like to know more about this course contact us for the program brochure that covers the detailed information about the program